Welcome back to Go Go Nippon. And um, the best part of waking up is seeing Makoto in your cup. Especially she's wearing double D's. Excuse me. Um, morning. Uh, morning. 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 Yes, morning. Morning. Oh, good morning. Get up early. Yeah, I got up a little earlier so I could think over where I want to go. Nessie, that's nice. Huh? Sounds like you're getting the most out of your days here in Japan. Yeah, of course. That's thanks to you and Akira. <laughs> when you say when you say that, it makes it it makes it all feel worthwhile. Wait, where is Akira? She must still be asleep. Oh, but if you wouldn't mind, could you try to wake her up? Oh dear. What? What? Me? Wake up, uh, Akira? But. <laughs> but. It's nothing to worry about. I'm not telling you to go into her room. Just stand outside the door and call out her until you get a response. Ah, I see. I'm I'm ready for this. My fingers have to ready for the F11 button. It's Akira. I have no idea what might happen to me if I go into her room while she's asleep. Okay, I'll go wake her up. If you would. I wish I could just let her sleep, but we can't start the day until Akira wakes up. Just in case. I'm pretty sure Akira's room is the first room on the second floor. That's it, the room with the open door. One moment. Hmm. For the guys, gratuitous panty shot. I, I, oh, that's, the, I'll just keep it happening for Makoto now, I catch a cure in the compromising position, that's just, 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 just stay cool, stay cool. Uh, uh, uh um, good morning, I, I, I didn't get a stiff, stiff, uh, you, you didn't come downstairs, so she, she sent me to pick you up. But, but I see you, you're already, uh, wait, so that, 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 that's good, that, I'll be going now, so what, uh, anyway, I'll be waiting downstairs for you, good, come down when, when, when you're ready, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I just, uh, some, uh, some insurgency, shit. <sighs> now she should, now, she should know, it's just a misunderstand. <laughs> Stop beeping, Tom! Perfect! I, I am not, it's a misunderstanding. Makoto just asked me to come to wake you up. Shut up! You can't sing yourself now! Shut up! I'm so sorry, I didn't see the fight. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Oh, holy shit! Why are you fighting like that? That's your idea! I wonder if Akira's still mad at me. She's been quiet all through breakfast. Um. Um. Oh dear. Yep, she's still totally mad. Come on, Aki Chan, don't stay mad. It's your fault for not waking up on time, don't you think? That was just. And I don't see how you can blame him when you were the one changing with the door open, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's entirely your fault, so don't be mad at him, okay? Bye! 
well, as a token of your restored friendship, won't you make the after meal coffee? Yes, ma'am. There, you got a you got a gratuitous penny shop. You're welcome. That was close. Thanks, Makoto. You don't have to thank me. I'm the one who asked you to get here. That's true, but I saw panties. And so did the rest of the free world on the internet. They saw panties. Anyway, it's over now, so let's not bring it up again. I got that. Got it. Okay, here's coffee. Here. Ah, thanks. At any rate, I'm glad we can make... Mm. Th this coffee is... What's this? It's full of food! What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I guess it wasn't. I mean, just. I guess it wasn't a mistake. Nothing. Nothing at. In that case, I'll just have to. I'm drinking water, by the way. Uh. Whew! Wow, that coffee sure was great. Thanks. Mmm, that was salty as hell. Baka. Yes, yes. We all know what baka means. Idiot. Hmm. Give me your cup. Huh? Give it to me. Come on. Ah. Come on. Will you do something like that? How am I supposed to stay... Come on. Will you do something like that? How am I supposed to stay mad at you? You show us a... Okay, so... Day two, I'm greeted with... Makoto with nothing on but probably, um, um, a bath towel, a bath towel, a bath towel, a bath towel, and, and then day, day, day three, day, day three, I'm, I'm greeted with panty shot, pant, pant, yes, I am greeted with panty shots. <sighs> Akira. Okay, here's another coffee. Take it. Don't worry. There's nothing weird in it this time. What's wrong? Or in this way, she's saying, Toshita. Uh, no. Then drink it up. It'll get the taste out of your mouth. Yeah, thanks. Anyway, let's decide where to go today. So we went by Akihabara. And Shinjuku. Today, let's go to Ike Bukuro. I think I like to go here. Ike Bukuro, right? That means. Okay, I'll be showing you around. 
We'll head out after I clean up breakfast. Get your things ready, and I'll be right there, okay? Got it. Ikebukuro, huh? I wonder what kind of place it is. Dollar! Holler, holler. Well, here we are. This is today's destination. Ikebukuro. Ikebukuro. This is... That's right. This is Ikebukuro. The second busiest travel destination in Japan. <laughs> Sunnies instead of Denny's. Second busiest? you think the second busiest place in Japan would rank pretty high on a world scale, too. And there really are. It's as crowds I expect for the second busiest place in Japan. Just leaving the station and coming here, I feel like there were an awful lot of people. I should inform you, this isn't the busiest day of the week. What? Seriously? Yes, on Saturday and Sunday, the number of people you see here would put this to shame. This road, the Sunshine 60 Dori, is the most popular street in Ikebukuro. Dori, suffix meaning street. The Sunshine 60 Street. This doesn't even compare to the crowds you'll see here on the weekends. Wow, I can't believe it. There are a lot of people here today already if it doesn't even compare. But as scary as the prospect is, I kind of like to see it. The town of Ikebukuro was once a very small village. But about 100 years ago, a train station was built here. From there, the population grew rapidly until it became the city we see it today. Wow. That's amazing. They also say that a lot of painters and artists lived around here before the Second World War. I believe that. They called it Ikebukuro Manpanas, after the Manpanas in France. Wow, an artist town? Yeah, and maybe because of that, a lot of manga artists still live here today. Manga. I love manga, especially Japanese manga. Really? Have you ever heard of Tezuka Osamu? Yes! Astro Boy! Blackjack! Oh. That's my heart right there. The grandfather, the godfather of all anime and manga. God damn it. Tezuka. Isn't that the man they call the god of manga? That's right. You really know your stuff? Tezuka Osamu also lived in the Ikebukuro area. They say that many aspiring manga creators make pilgrimage to his apartments. Wow. I always thought of manga as kind of disposable entertainment, but when you think about the history like that, it really does feel like an art form. And if you look to your left, we're going to look at Shoto, Shotoro Ishinomori's Hotspot. It is. It's not fully appreciated that way within our country either, but... Well, anyway, now that you know a little about the history of Ikebukuro, let's walk around a bit, shall we? Okay, then let's go. Or as I like to say... Or as I'd like to say, but... What? What's wrong? To tell the truth, I really need to hit the John. Is there a public restroom somewhere in the area? Oh, come on. I told you to take care of that before we came here. I'm not proud of it. Oh, well. Unfortunately, Japan's shopping districts don't offer a lot of public restrooms. 
What? Seriously? Then what am I going to... We don't have a choice, so we'll have to make do with this area. Piss on the spot. This area, but with all these people here on the street? She's not looking, dude. Unless you want to look. I hope we won't have to resort to that. Mm, but I'm not sure I can live here much longer. See, this is why this is why I take the time out in between parts just to take take a whiz, make something to eat, and with that, come on back to here and just start recording again. That's a smart thing. Mm, what should I do? <laughs> Sorry, it's just a joke. A joke to what? Uh, but there really aren't that many public restrooms around here. But it's okay, we can use the one in the comb beanie. In the comb beanie. Yes, if you ever need a restroom in the city, you can always go to the comb beanie. The arcade will be another option. Yep. Arcades definitely have a restaurant there, too. I see. I'll have to remember that. But anyway, let's hurry. To the toilet! Oh, please. Ten pounds later. Whoo! I feel better. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention. There are some combini in shopping districts that won't let you use their bathrooms as a crime prevention measure. Be sure to keep that in mind. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that earlier? Well, they let you use it, so what's the problem? That's true, but still. More importantly, come on, it's time to go. This way. Hey, do you remember the name of the street we were on? Huh? Um, I think it was Sunshine... Yes, the sun, the Sunshine 60 Dori. That's the reason I, it's called that. Oh, that's powerful. This is... The Sunshine 60. The Crown Jewel Skyscraper of Ike Bukuro. It's probably shown in um, Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds. Well, there was a stage called Ike Bukuro, after all. Wow, it really is tall. Is it called Sunshine 60 because it has 64s? Bingo! That's absolutely right! The Sunshine 60 was built in 1978, one year before I was born. At the time it was built, it was the tallest building in East Asia. Unfortunately, it's further down the list nowadays. But it's still quite tall. But it's still quite tall. Yes, it is. I know. Hey, as long as we're here, you want to go inside? Inside? Are you sure? Am I sure of what? Well, isn't it an office building? Ah, oh, don't worry about it. There's shops and public spaces inside too. Plus on top, uh, plus on the top floor. I can't believe there's an aquarium in Sunshine City. And there goes my enemy self again. Are you shocked? Totally. You've also got stuff like a planetarium, a theater, a museum, even a shopping center and a theme park. All that, then you could spend a whole day just in Sunshine, in Sunshine City. That's the idea. Wow, I see. Hey, let's look at that. The fish has a funny face. <laughs> sure does. Looks a bit like you. Hey, my face doesn't look that. It look like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, 
Hey, look at over there. You can see ocean sunfish. You really can. It's been a long time since I've been to the aquarium, but it's nice to come here every so often. Yeah, it is. I can't believe we're looking at fish this high in the air in the middle of the city. <laughs> now that you mention it, it is strange. Yeah, I wonder how the fish must feel. How the fish must feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, what people say, that they feel sorry for the fish in the aquariums and animals at zoos crammed into these little spaces. They say it's wrong and they should have more space to move around. Sometimes I wonder if that's really true. Oh, kid. When you think about it from the point of view of a fish or an animal, what do they care about the size of the world outside? True. Living in the wider world means you're caught up in the cruel cycle of life. You might get eaten up before you grow to full size. True. You live in constant fear of death out there. True. Sometimes I think it might be nicer for them to live in these tanks where they don't have to worry about nat natural predators or finding food of their own. Maybe that's just another form of happiness. It's not as if the animals in zoos and aquariums know what they're missing, right? If they don't know about it, the world they're in right now is the entirety of their world, don't you think? Do you know the Japanese phrase, the frog in the well knows not the ocean? N no. It was originally a Chinese phrase. It means that when you live in a small world, you know nothing of what it means to live in a larger one. But if a frog has lived in a well his whole life. What does he need to know about the outside world? That's what I think. That's deep. Akira. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just babbling on about stuff again. But sorry, don't mind me. But, but, seriously, let's go further in. Looks like there's sea otters and penguins up there. Sure. Nine dollars. Oh, those penguins were terrible. Yeah, they walk so funny. They really do. The eyes were cute, cute too. I feel so satisfied. But I never expect to see ant eaters in an aquarium. <laughs> There's an ant eater who keeps escaping. He's kind of famous for it. Wow, really? Anyway, I'm getting a little hungry. You want to get some to eat? That's what I've been waiting for. I've been starving since we were in the aquarium. Because you were watching the fish? Ha <laughs> ha. Now that you mention it, maybe so. Oh please, you're hopeless. But anyway, I wonder where we should eat. Is there anything you're in the mood for? Me? Hmm. I want... What do you recommend? What do you recommend, Akita? Hmm. There's a type of food associated with Ikebukuro. What is it? Ramen, of course! Fuck you! Yeah! I am so happy about ramen. Ramen? You mean noodles? Yes, they were originally a Chinese dish, but Japanese people evolved it into another direction. It's become practically the national dish. I just had ramen not too long ago. I still have the I still have the bowl next to me. There's violent competition among ramen shops in Ikebukuro. 
They call it Ramen Wars. Super Ramen Tyson. <laughs> there you go. There you. There you go. That's a, that's the that's the new form right there. there. There's your SRW right there. Super Ramen Wars. The other SRW. Super Ramen Wars. Super Ramen Tyson. <laughs> It said Super Robot Tyson, you got Super Robin Tyson. I will, I will see that. <laughs> you see? It's like you got Super Tokusatsu Tyson, you got Super Robot Tyson, now you have Super Robin Tyson. <laughs> du, 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 du. <laughs> oh, the ideas I'm coming up with. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Super Robin Tyson Alpha. Alpha Guided. <laughs> Super Ramen Tyson Alpha. <laughs> Super Ramen Tyson Original Generation. <laughs> Super Ramen Tyson F Final. <laughs> Ramen Wars. That sounds kind of dangerous, and I can't. I, I. I. I will. I will roll with this joke. But see, look, there's one over, there's one there, and over there. See, here and there are all ramen shops. I see. Well, that many shops around, it really is eat or be eaten. I know, right? For the more popular shops, you might have to line up for half an hour to eat there. Anyway, let's ramen! Yes, that's ramen! <laughs> That's a strange turn of a phrase. Huh? What? You're looking at me funny. Nothing. I always look like this. I see. That's true. Hey! Anyway, I'll follow you. <laughs> Here, this way. Come on. Come on. Let's go get some ramen. Do, 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 do. Whew. I had to wait a while, but we're finally inside. Whoa, what a loud voice. Isn't it amazing? The force of a greeting is one of this shop's trademarks. Little talk is no different. Anyway, we better anyway, we better order. Oh, this place uses meal tickets. Meal tickets? Man, I haven't heard that in a long ass time. Meal tickets. Last time I heard of meal tickets, I was in elementary school. Meal tickets. Yes, you see that vending machine over there? You can buy a ticket for what you want to eat there and take it to the man at the counter. There's a vending machine in the restaurant. That's right. They're pretty common in Japan. Anyway, maybe you should stick with the standard ramen for today. Sure. Now give, now give the ticket to the man at the counter. Ramen, huh? I wonder what it tastes like. I'm an expert at that. Anime me. It tastes pretty good. Omatase shimashita. Ritual phrase used by servers when bringing your food. Whoa! God, that's making me hungry right now. Seriously. Mmm! This is ramen. That is ramen. This is long noodles like pasta floating on a hot bath of hot soup. But it's not like minestrone either. You're supposed to slurp it up. You're supposed to slurp up the ramen while it's hot, blowing on it to cool it down. Slurp it? Yes, yeah, slurp it. Yes, make a lot of noise. I know it's hard for foreigners, but for Japanese people, slurping noisily is the proper way to eat noodle. Hell to the yes. Nah, I see. Anyway, let's hurry. Itadakimasu! 
This is how is it? Um <coughs> Well that's hard to do. <laughs> I guess it does I guess I don't have to ask, even have to ask. Whenever I eat ramen I I eat like I, I, what I usually do for my ramen bowl is, um, I usually have, like, um, like, um, little, um, like, if there's some kind of meat, like, I will put a piece of ham in there, a little bit of sausage, I will season it a bit, and, um, I just let it sit for a while, because what I usually do is, like, the ramen be, like, you know, really really watery. So I just let the water just like, 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 like let it just, <laughs> I don't eat, I don't eat ramen just like, you know, right there on the spot. I, I just let it just sponge it. Plus the flavor just comes out when, when it, when you properly sponge it. <laughs> yen for yeah four dollars four dollars for one bowl of ramen which is 800 yen yeah why not wow that was so great it was it was so delicious that's why i keep buying ramen every time i get the chance to you seem happy i'm glad i can see why ramen has become a national dish i know right I've got to eat it again while I'm in Japan if I get the chance. Anyway, as long as we're out, would you like to walk around town a bit more? Sure. Sounds good. I know it's a bit far from here, but there's a temple where they hold a festival for a goddess called Kishibojin. Long ago, she was a fearsome monster who would kidnap and eat children, but the Buddha saved her. She took a maternal form and became the goddess of childbirth and child rearing. Wow. Thank you, come again! Hey, Akchan, what's for dinner tonight? Hmm? Tonight I was thinking of making curry rice. Yay! A ready curry rice, Aki-chan! Curry? Isn't that Indian food? And it's delicious. I've tried curry before. Well, curry originated from India, but it came to England from there. It came to Japan from there, and Japanese people reformed it to suit their, pa their palates. And it is very, very hot. Reformed it. I guess I've changed a little just from a few days in Japan. That happens to you. When you start living in Japan, once you get over the culture shock, it's like you suddenly adapt to it. That's what happened to me when I was living there for a whole year. Now this, now my anime side is living here for two weeks. Imagine living there for a whole year. Pretty much your whole outlook is going to get altered really, really slow. Because you you start to realize, you know, it's a whole different life in Japan than where you was originally, no matter where you came from. And once you come back to where you originally came from, your view is so distorted, you will never see your life the same way ever again. I'll give an example. Last night, while I was on Skype with Sheena and Ryu, I was, um, I was playing Xenoverse. And you know, um, 
I played it with you know Japanese uh, with Japanese voice acting because like I said I get tired of the I get tired of hearing the same old English dub so I have to listen to something different so it's like for me I like to go with Japanese Japanese voice uh, Japanese voice English English subtitle besides much anime it is done like that really it's like the script is so different so you want to you want to listen to the Japanese version over the English dub because there are some lines that do get cut in between translation the same could happen with food coming to another country too curry too and pizza and pasta of course French, Chinese, Asian food, East and West, Japanese people eat food from all countries. And they incorporate them all aggressively into their own food culture. I have an image that Japan is all about sushi and tempura and sukiyaki. But Japanese people really eat a wide variety of food in their daily life. That means McDonald's, Denny's, all that stuff, that counts too. By the way, curry is up there with ramen as Japan's national dish now. National dish? Oh, that's right, curry rice, curry bread, and even soup curry. There are main vari variations. I don't think there's a person in Japan who doesn't like curry. Wow, curry's really that popular. But among those, curry rice is the king of kings. Everyone loves it, from children to adults. Just hearing about it makes me hungry. Doesn't it? Yeah. How does it? Hey, Aki-chan, let me help out, okay? What? You want to help? Sure. Uh, you don't have to. I can make it myself. You talk to him while I'm making it. Well, you make dinner every day. Feel bad, please. Oh, dear. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to worry about it either. Oh, dear. But, what's wrong? It's not like you, you have to be so dissembling. But, but it's just... What's wrong? Makoto's asking to help, so let her... I know she said that Akira was better coach, but Makoto can't be without skill herself. Akira? Fine. If you insist, I guess One-Chan can help me with the cooking. You gotta call me Sumaru! Mm, sorry. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey! Good luck, Makoto. I'm looking forward to it. Mm, leave it to me. That's right. Maybe I can do something, too. No, you don't have to worry about it. Instead. Instead? Oh dear. You're the one who insisted that only Chan help out. So you're the one who takes responsibility for the final product. Huh? Responsibility? What's she on about? Two words, man. Yurika! Yurika Mitsumaru. That's right. Yurika Mitsumaru. Anyway. Hey, wait a minute! Ah, Maybe I'll let Onei-chan make the salad. I got it! Responsibility. What's that supposed to mean? She can't... She can't possibly... Ah, da da! Sorry, sorry! 
make the dressing. We'll want lots of seasoning to make it even nice and tasty. Here's our salt. Oh dear lord. Huh? Wait, that, that's almost all bad! That's way too much! No, what exactly is this? Uh, oh well, I'll throw it right in. Oh shit, what did you throw in? I, I see, this is why Akira was so hesitant. So when she said responsibility, she meant... Here we go, itadakimasu! Here you are. I worked hard on this salad, so do you help yourself. Sure. And you want to put my special salad, and you want to put on my special dressing. Thanks. In other news, what is this salad? I see some long torture strands of something sticking out from the bowl. And this dress is an unnaturally bright green color. Please help yourself. I won't get eaten if I just stare at it all day. Here we go. <coughs> Oh, don't mind, don't mind the background, it's just my family up. I mean, it is about 7 a.m. in the morning, so... Uh, I'm sorry, I thought I had done a good job today. She thought that was a good job. Anyway, at least Akira didn't let her get involved with the curry at all. That curry really was delicious. How delicious? <coughs> that delicious. That was my ramen, though. <clears throat> I guess I know now to leave the cooking at Akira's hands at all times. I'll make sure to do that from now on. Anyway, at least it's over now. Hey, Onei-chan, do you remember what we talked about before dinner? Oh, yes, I do. What What did you talk about before dinner? About that he's only got three days left in Japan. We'd have time to make the trip, wouldn't we? Well, I thought I had two days. I got three days? Oh, okay, fine. And that's true because I'll be going home in four days. That's right, but I was thinking maybe you'd like to go somewhere a little further tomorrow? Somewhere further? Yes, obviously there are still a lot of places you haven't seen in Tokyo, but... As long as you're in Japan, we thought you might like to see some place outside of Tokyo. Some place outside of Tokyo? Like where? <laughs> a place no traveler to Japan should be without. Yeah, there's only one place. Ah. Are you talking about... Yes! Kyoto! Kyoto. Kyoto. I would like to go there, but... But... What? Do you have a problem with that? I don't have a problem, but 
I don't know a lot about Kyoto, and even if you want to go tomorrow, I don't even know how we get there. Oh, is that all? Why don't you worry your head about it? Yeah, we'll go with you. Uh, you, you mean both of you? Happy time? Ahem, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> of course, I know you haven't gone out with both of us, but we want to go on this trip. Yeah, so I've been to Kyoto many times before, but this is a special opportunity of you going. I see. I would never think about it if I was by myself, but having them there would be reassuring. Okay, in that case, let's take a trip! Hooray, they're settled! Yeah! Yeah! I know this is sudden, but... Maybe we should make it an overnight stay in Kyoto? We'll take care of the reservation, so you just get ready for the trip. Got it. Kyoto, eh? <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> yeah. It's a really sudden trip, but I did come all the way to Japan. Getting to look at a lot of different places is one of the joys of travel. Kyoto. I wonder what's waiting for me there. This should be fun. And you know what that means? We've reached day four. And with that, I think we're gonna stop here because I don't want to spoil you guys. Not with this much craziness that's about to happen. So in the next part, Kyoto, when Gogo Nippon returns right after this.